ரொம்ப நன்றி நம நமஸ்காரம் தன்யவாத் குட் மார்னிங் டுடே இஸ் த நைன்டி செகண்ட் பர்த்டே ஆஃப் குரு ஏபிஜே அப்துல் கலாம் வாட் எ டே இட் இஸ் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டிசைட் அட் த ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் கலாம் டிசைட் அட் டு செலிப்ரேட் சந்திரயன் த்ரீ ட்ரையம்ஃப் ஆன் திஸ் டே கிரேட் நோ and i am very sure he will be very happy up there looking at it and india going to moon no on the day we landed on the moon the most happiest person will be dr apj abdul kalam i have no doubt about it. all those who are on the dais from the kalam family amma nasima ji our uh, janul abdin ji chinadurai Joseph Rajan, Venkateshwar Sharma ji and all the family of uh, APJ Abdul Kalam, all the teachers, students, uh, sabhi ko mai namaskar, dhanyawad, sab ko dekhe, dekhe, mujhe bhoot khushi hui hai aaj ki hum uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam ka 92nd birth anniversary ko celebrate kar raha hai, isi samaya pa hum ye chandrayaan tri ke triumph ke baare mein baat chit kate hai. हम इसरो के बारे में बातचीत करते हैं सभी देखा है चंद्रयान लैंडिंग किसने देखा नॉट सीन इट प्लीज रेस दो सीन इट ओके सो यू गो एंड सीन इन यूट्यूब नाउ ओके यू गो एंड सीन द यूट्यूब इट इज ऑल देयर हाउ इट केम एंड लैंडेड सो प्रिसाइसली नॉट इट केम एंड लैंडेड ऑन द मून एट द नियर टू द साउथ पोल सो प्रिसाइसली कैन इंडियंस डू दिस are you sure india can do this yes. ah that is the point it's not just that that uh, we landed like america on the moon america can do anything can india do this yes. ah that is where we should do ha ah? ah we can do more than this so that is why it is important chandrayaan 3 was built in india by indian engineers people like abdul kalam <laughs> what is the significance of abdul kalam he came from a village here just nearby have you seen his house yes ha huh? have you been there yes look at the surrounding where he lived many years back and look at the conditions where he was brought up an inspirational kid who came up and then struggled in his life to become an engineer struggled to become a project director failed many times succeeded to become the successful launch vehicle designer and the project director then went on to become another organization drdo to make them became the missile man then he became the bomb man huh? after missile man and he became our president say what a journey for a person from a remote village in india rameshwaram and i am also from the similar background i am from a very small village in kerala when i was a young kid there was no electricity no electricity until i studied my schooling like him i had the fortune to study in a christian school i am from a hindu family but i was educated in tangal kunj musaliyar engineering college the, the only first muslim engineering college in kerala so i also enjoyed the love and affection of so many types of people who helped me to come up in uh, in my life my principal dr p o jamaluddin lebba called me he is 85 years old he called last last week and called how you are how are you how you are doing just imagine the love from our teachers i had the fortune to see kalam and in action for short time i joined 1985 na yesaro 1985 that was 38 years back many so many years gone i i still have not felt 38 years i am feeling yesterday only i joined as isro <laughs> so at that time kalam was just leaving isro he was a successful pd and after that he is moving over to headquarters then moving over to drdo but i had many times i met kalam even when he was president even after he became you know post president he was uh, staying in delhi i went there as uh, an expert in ro- rocket by that time i was very senior not a young fellow eh? so at that time i was sent my organization to explain how a rocket failed we recently launched a gslv it failed so my bosses told you go and explain this to uh, kalam sir so i went there 
and he was their uh, president. He is no longer a scientist now. After becoming president, you are not a scientist. Are you? <laughs> but he was. He was still a rocket engineer. He asked me a lot of questions, very tough questions, very difficult. Huh? At that time, he asked a lot of questions. I clarified how the rocket failed. So he told these things you have to do to correct it. Next time, you should make it success, successful. And we made it successful. That is it. <clears throat> so if you talk to him, you, if you talk to him for five minutes, your energy level will you know, cross this roof. That is the impact of Dr. Abdul Kalam. That is a personality. So when I was in ISRO, all my bosses were his chelas, his uh, subordinates, who worked with Kalam. First deputy tha, Dr. Srinivasan. Mera, mera boss tha. He, he was the first project director of PSLV. Our next deputy tha, Madhav Nair. Unka pata hai aapko? The chairman tha, yes, Aroka. Was the second deputy. Was the mera boss tha. Our deputy is Ramakrishnan. He is from Chennai. He was my immediate boss. So you can understand. So I was seeing there was a big kalam. There were small, small kalams everywhere. <laughs> All of them are inspired people. No? You can understand how kalam can change a person. If you contact him, then you are changed. So you have all the energy required. You are not fearing about failure. You have all humility. You know how to work with people. You know how different disciplines make rockets. Rockets are very complex, you know. Have you ever seen a rocket? How many of you have seen rocket ta taking off? Very less people. No, it's not enough. You should all come to Sri Kota. So how you are making a decision today, you are going to come to Sri Kota? Yes. And see a rocket launching? Yes. See, see and feel the sound. It will make you, you know, vibrate inside. No, your heart will pump a little faster. Huh? So come there and feel the sound. Then you will know the energy of launching a rocket. So it is such a mighty experience. I have not seen till now a rocket directly eh? launching. All the time rocket launches happen, I am sitting inside the control room. I see only on computer the rocket launching. So after retirement, I will see one day rocket launching. <laughs> <laughs> so I have been sitting for last 60 launches of PSLV, GSLV, GSLM, R3, SSLV, all launches, I sit in control room. Huh? I never got a chance to see directly. So you'll, you may be seeing me in TV, you know, many times. Huh? So all that, I have been sitting like that for the last so many years. <laughs> Never got a chance. See, the contribution of Abdul Kalam is in bringing up people. People with great passion. People with energy. People with dedication to serve our nation, our country. This is what he did. We all believed our nation is a weak nation. It is not so. Our country is a very powerful nation. You understand that? We have our knowledge and intelligence level in this country is one of the best in the world. See, in Chandrayaan 3, when we designed, we called uh, uh, JPL, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Caltech. You have heard about it in America? There is a university who does all the rockets and most difficult missions. NASA JPL. NASA JPL. So they came here. Five, six people came from NASA JPL. We explained everything, Chandrayaan 3, to them. And they were all surprised to see, oh, in India you are building such a craft. It was before landing. And we explained how we designed it. Our engineers designed, our engineers made it. We explained how we are going to land. And finally, they said, we have no comments. Everything is going to be good. Huh? And they also said one thing. See, look at the instruments. They are so beautiful. They are very cheap, very easy to build. And they are high technology. How you built it? Why don't you sell something to America? They are asking. So you can understand that now. Times have changed. We are capable of building the best of the equipments, best of the devices, best of rockets in India. That's why our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji has now opened the space sector. Have you heard about it? Opening of space sector? Now we are telling you young people come and build rockets, young people come and build satellites, young people do uh, applications and make our nation more powerful in space technology. It is not only ISRO, everybody can do now space. I am very happy to see people, young people, they are making, building rocket model. They are not building models. I have seen young people building actual rockets. There is one company in Chennai building Aknikul. There is another in Hyderabad building Skyroot. So there are 
there are people building rockets. At least there are five companies today building satellite in India. Do you know that? So when this change is happening, I think we should all be proud. All came from people like Abdul Kalam. So I bow in respect to Kalam. It was a time when people like Kalam was required. Who is Kalam? Who is APG Abdul Kalam? He's a saint. He's a saint. He's not a scientist. No, when you merge a scientist with a saint, a person with technical knowledge and with a spiritual heart, when you join together, you can do magic. You can understand the heart of things. You can move people. You can give them directions. You can make them do things which nobody else can move. I think that is what is required. And each one of you have that capability. Every child in this nation is like Abdul Kalam. Only a burning, inspired heart is only required. You don't need anything else. There is one statement, very important statement. Knowledge is very limited. You know, knowledge is very limited. You know only what you have studied. You know, don't know anything beyond. Aapko sab, aapko hai kya? Hindi mein, uh, English mein bol, bolte hai, aapko hai kya? Achha. Okay. So, uh, if you have knowledge, it is very limited. But what is not limited? Anybody knows? Dreams. If you start dreaming, you can cover the entire universe. You can dream about going to moon. You can dream about going to Mars. You can travel beyond solar system. You can go to the end of the galaxy. You can see all what is happening. No, only dream. So if you do not, the most powerful tool in your, in your hand is dreaming. And Abdul Kalam Asar told, when you should dream? You should dream when you are awake, not when the night. So happy is dreams you see and sleep, no? The dreams that you see should be the one which will keep you awake. That will not allow you to sleep. So anybody has such dreams? Anybody want to go to moon and land on the moon? See, when we landed Chandrayaan 3 on the moon, I declared to Honorable Prime Minister, Sir, India is on the moon. And he, re and he, replied, and he replied that. And now Honorable Prime Minister is asking, when are you sending one Indian to moon? So, some of you who are sitting here will do that job. Some of you will design the rocket which will go to moon. Some of you will be actually traveling to moon. I have no doubt about it. Young people of today, wherever I go, they are all inspired to see the success. And at the land of Kalam, with the family here, celebrating his 92nd birthday, and, and they are celebrating Chandrayaan triumph. Why they are celebrating Chandrayaan 3 triumph? It is for making Chandrayaan 10 successful, no? <laughs> and when you go in Chandrayaan 10, one of you will be sitting inside. And most probably a girl child. <laughs> a girl astronaut will from, go from India and then land on the moon. I think that will happen. It may not be 2047, we don't have to wait. Honorable Prime Minister say in the Amarth Kal, next to 25 years, we should do great things to make India a very powerful country. And in that space technology is required. I told Honorable Prime Minister, we don't have to wait till 2040. We have to go only up to 2047. Uh, we'll do it much earlier than that. And we want to do it. And we make young people inspired. I think that is the life of Dr. Abdul Kalam taking all of us along in the journey of space technology. I'm thankful to you for organizing this event and making everybody inspired. And also I bow in front of the life of Dr. Ebji Kalam, who has dedicated himself to the nation. Whatever work he did, whatever words he spoke was inspirational. He told the power that is available within is unlimited. I think all of us have to find out what is that power within you. And it is a responsibility of each one of us to contribute to the nation building. And India will be a powerful nation one day. Will it not be? Yes. India will be powerful. And in which area will be powerful? You know? In technology. In technology will be powerful. Because only if you have technology, others will respect you. When I, when I went to recently to a space conference, every people from NASA, ESA, China, Europe, everybody comes and congratulating me for Chandrayaan 3. Why they are doing it? Because they realize India is going to be a powerful nation. It's better you be happy with India. <laughs> so we must have confidence in it. We must also think that we were once a very powerful nation with so much of capacity. And we were drained out due to various reasons. 
Today, it is a golden era that is coming back. In the next 25 years, we have to build back an India which is prosperous, technologically prosperous, and naturally will become economically prosperous. And if you are economically prosperous, you should be able to influence the world decisions. You will be able to influence the world such a way that we will live peacefully. And India will become a nation where every individual in the world will like to come and stay here. So you can think of a place you want to go and stay. Ramanathapuram will be a best place to stay. And I thank once again, Vanakam, Nandri, thank you, Thanyavad, for this opportunity given to us, for me to come here and speak about on the day of Kalam's birthday, and the family also, Amma, Appa, and all their family members, my greetings once again. And I offered them that I will visit again someday with my family also. My children also have not seen Kalam's house, so it's a wish I have to keep, promise I have to give to them. As well, let them also get inspired along with this, no? <laughs> so thank you once again, children, for all the energy that you have spent to come here, display, display many things, and I am aware of the work you are doing in, in your schools. And keep it up, and teach, uh, learn the lesson that Kalam has given us to get inspired and work for the country. Thank you so much, and all the best to you. <laughs>